remember, you always wash like whatever somebody does. So today uh, we're going to be talking about the new Lumos uh, projector. Right now, in our current setup, our living room, we have a 60-inch television. So just to give an idea of the dimensions, there's a big bird right behind you, Alisa. Look at the big bird behind you. <laughs> so uh, we've already set up the Lumos projector right in the background over here at the top. And uh, we've tried it for about a day or two. So just to give uh, some impressions or some uh, ideas on what to consider before you guys go get your own uh, Lumos projector as well. So I think there are three main points to consider, so let's go. Wait, if you so the first thing that you need to be aware of is uh, the lighting or in terms of the lumens. Uh, it's rated at about 6,000 lumens, so that's, that's supposedly a, quite, a, quite a lot. But of course it doesn't compare with a regular television. At 545 you can still see that it's pretty clear. So now to see how the projector functions or how it looks like in the daytime, uh, let's take a look. Yeah, so this is the projector right here on top of the stand that I bought as well and Elisa is at 104 centimeters thereabouts so you can see how tall the stand can be so this is how it looks like with the light shining in and this is a startup screen So you can see it is pretty okay, of course not as sharp as what it would be on the television. And with the blinds drawn, uh, as you can see, blinds are all drawn, this is how it looks like, uh, still visible, much more so than before, but of course not as sharp as you would have in the normal television. And of course, the best optimal viewing uh, time or viewing environment would be at night where everything is pitch black so that the lights and uh, the, the lighting of the projector really comes through. Uh. And here it is. And so now that you've seen the projector's performance under the different lighting conditions, that's your first thing to consider. Uh, how are you going to use your projector? Are you going to use it in the daytime or at night only or under what kind of lighting conditions? You also can use our afternoon or camping. Up to you! And the second point to consider is the keystone correction. So there is a keystone correction functionality in this projector allowing you to correct the uh, angles of the screen being projected up to a degree of plus minus 45. Um, which is pretty much what the projector or how my projector is being set up now. And this means that it's pretty useful because then if you have other obstacles in the way and you can't set it up uh, directly in front of the projector, you can set it a little bit off center but you can see that the keystone correction isn't perfect. It's straight on the left but crooked on the right. So not exactly correct. And you can also see that because it's not a laser projector, on the right it's pretty clear. Can I touch it? No. But on the left, there's some blurriness or lack of focus here. So overall, there is a keystone correction functionality, but it's sharper across certain planes but not across the others. So that's the second point to consider uh, when purchasing the Lumos projector. It's not a laser projector so you don't expect uh, focus to be clear or to be exact across the entire screen. And the last thing you have to bear in mind is the sound. The sound quality of this projector is pretty good. Um, you can take a listen. But the main issue with the sound is that while it's very clear and loud, the sound is actually coming from the rear of the projector, not the front. So this, this area that you see over here, it's not a speaker. The speaker is actually located at the rear, over here instead. 
So if I play the sound, and so the problem with that is that if you place the projector at the rear and you're watching it from the front, then the sound actually comes from the rear and it sounds a little bit weird if you are used to having a sound bar in front of your television but if you are used to having your sound coming from the rear then it, it's fine anyways but uh, just something to take note so overall I would say that it's still a, a good buy um, even though you probably can't use it during the day unless you have blackout curtains and so on but it's pretty useful under the right conditions so are you happy with it Alisa? Yeah, so you should probably describe the video, whether it's good or bad, you would say a thumbs up. Bye! <laughs> okay. <laughs>